they put them all on easy okay. street. Once, okay. once he was convicted, they didn't honor none of the stuff they told the people. Made a deal with the devil. You know how that goes. Right. right. So what ended up happening is they say if you don't um, pay up, we're going to tell everybody about the whole plot. So they, they told him, go on, tell them. They ain't going to believe you now. We are. We got him in our media grip. So okay. they came out with they recant and told them what the government told them they was going to give them and how they reneged on the deals. And the only one that seemed to have gotten compensation from the government, from my understanding, was the son who orchestrated it all. Okay. Right. Now, once Malachi get took off the scene, all of the other dirty players start being activated. Mm. They start forging his signatures on documents to steal what was his. They start mass printing his books, but they was only selling them through certain bookstores so that they could capitalize on the return on his intellectual property. So all the time he been in there, uh, fighting for his life, they've been out here living high off the hog off his work. Right, right. That's but I, we ain't supposed to say nothing because that's not my tribe. Bullshit. Right. I'm saying something. Right, right. I ain't going to let that brother go down like that. Right. After all the work he put in and all the, all the, not Look, I mean, all the rightful knowledge he done put out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it go back to what he said about Mandela and one of the scrolls that came out in the 90s. He said, they asked me, why did Mandela stay in prison 27 years? He said, because Mandela people let him stay in prison 27 years. But everybody think that means that you have to get up, go get your gun, go down there and get him out. That's not what it means. Your people can block you from getting relief from the sources that can get you the relief when they don't mean you no earthly good. Mm. Don't nobody want Malachi blood on their hands. Right, right. right. Now, nah, that's what it seemed like right now because they put them vicious charges on it to make it, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's common sense if you just, well, I mean, if you got common sense, all you got to do is use it. But don't nobody want to jump out there, though. You got to remember why they use sex cases. The allegation is the key evidence. Physical evidence is, is, is rare in a lot of the sex cases. Okay. Mostly it's just that somebody said something. Okay. A lot, okay. a lot of guys is doing prison terms because the woman felt like the sex wasn't good enough, so she cried rape. Mm. Or he ain't called her the next morning. That's what happened to Mike Tyson. When you go back back and listen to the girl she said she didn't get mad until the next morning when he ain't call her he had mm, like she in her feelings in so many words right, right so in the sex case they got this judge named judge bornstein he'd been a um child uh a family court judge for 40 years and he, he came out with a long report about how children was influenced to falsely accuse adults when the adult that's sending them want to get rid of the other adult, right? Mm -hmm. And that case opened my eyes. Then you got something called the McMartin trial, right? In the McMartin trial, they had these children saying that the McMartins was doing all this foul stuff to them and sodomized them with butcher knives and all kinds of stuff, but they don't have no physical signs of trauma. Wow. And they played it in the news, They the whole thing. They beat the case, but guess what happened? They was ruined. Still had the allegations, not the allegations, but still had that on they, on they, you know what I mean, right on them. Okay, okay. Because yeah. they know the public is going to look at that crazy, which, which yeah. is understandable if it's true, but they don't understand how these people work in the background, though. Yeah, but they show you, they always give you a frame of reference where you can look at any situation. Like Bill Cosby, yeah. when they say he, he was drugging them girls, we looking at it from a different cultural perspective because in the days that Bill Cosby was accused of that, 
they would give women quaaludes to trick with them. Right, right. and then look, uh, OG, then at the same time, on top of what you're saying, um, from my understanding and what I seen, like he was putting out how, he was showing how the, the Hollywood view us for the most part. He put out like videos or whatnot showing how they view us. You know, you know when, when they pointed they, only as entertainers and stuff like that. You, you know, know what I mean? You know when they pointed they they target on Cosby. What was that? Cosby was talking to Oprah mm. about a statement that he said about the adults failing the children. Mm. And she mm. asked him to clarify the statement. And he said, we supposed to educate ourselves out of this condition. Mm. And the parents is not teaching the children nothing. Facts. Facts. Right. He said they're not giving them no the home training. They're letting them run around um, wild in the streets with no um, upbringing. Right. And so around what, is, year, around what year was this, OG? It's an interview. I forgot what year it was, but it was in the it was when he had the big scandal for saying um, uh, about black parents need to be parents. Okay. 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 What was you saying, though? I didn't mean to cut you off. We forget Cosby single-handedly put more people through HBCUs than anybody else in the history of the nation. That's NBC was the was the beginning. That's what made him kill Ennis to stop him from buying NBC. Mm. And instead of stopping him from buying, it made him double down and go harder. But they told him the next was going to be Camille, then it was going to be him. They threatened to bury him in his driveway mm. when they did the, when they uh, pumping the oil from his property. I think it was in Connecticut or somewhere. He, they found oil under his property, and they wanted the oil, and he wouldn't um, sign the permit to allow them to drill on his property. There's a whole lot of stuff going on with Cosby besides. And then when you, you go listen to the panel, you can tell they're reading the script. Then, mm. then they ad-lib. Then they go back to the script. Then they ad-lib. Because... They can't give them all the same script from end to end. They got to improv the middle of it so it'll sound believable. They have to infuse it with some kind of personal experience. Cosby was tricking with them girls. He, if you go back to, um, they had this famous club in New York. I think it was like Club 106 or something. Okay. Uh, or Studio 104, I think is what it was called. And you look at the car. Culture. That's what was going on in the seventies. It was the the powder cocaine. Right. It was quaaludes. Right. It was uppers and downers. It was barbiturates. Go back to Scarface when he told her, um, her womb. She took so many quaaludes. Her womb is polluted. She can't make a baby. That was what the drug of choice was in Studio Fifty Four. That's right. So, uh, the. This was the culture back then. It's the same as right now if an uh, artist in the 80s was tricking with crackheads, giving them crack, and then all of a sudden they say he slipped a crack rock in their weed pipe. Exactly. Okay. Right. That'll be something to the nature of right now, like the Molly and the, and the, per and the Percocets and all that right, right. now. Right. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> that was a different drug era, a different drug of choice. Right. Like most of us ain't never heard of crystal TAC. We don't know what that is. It's methamphetamine. Mm. Yeah, you just put me hip with that. I ain't know that's what they call that's what they call it. Mm-hmm. But it used to be so few and far between that the people that found it was able to put a nice markup on it and then they was able to cut it just like cocaine. It's crystal meth. Right, crystal right, right. TAC. Yeah, that crystal muff a motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Punish you. When they when the crack era came out, they started manufacturing and they started calling it ice. Exactly. Exactly. So 
our our cultural memory of what changed in the culture allows a person to be victimized for something that was commonplace in a new era where it's not commonplace. Run that back one more time. One more time, OG. What'd you say? Okay, we're not paying attention to the cultural developments. In, in the 70s, what was commonplace is not commonplace in the 2000s. Facts. We have Facts. different drugs of choice. So by the people in the 2000s that's just not getting the information, it looked different than it did to the people in the era. Okay. And okay. that's why exactly. that make that's sense. why they can manipulate the history to make it whatever they want it to be. Okay. Okay. Mm. They play on it just like that, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, we hey, look so who forget. Go ahead, go ahead, my bad. We forget when Bill Cosby tried to buy NBC, they sold it for a billion dollars cheaper to some Japanese to keep him from getting it. Wow. They knew he was about to expose it. Or, or, right. Or take it over. Well, you got to go back to why he was trying to buy it. You got to go back to why he said he was trying to buy it. Because at the time, um, Viacom is trying to acquire BET. <clears throat> and while Viacom is putting pressure on Bob Johnson for BET, <clears throat> Bill Cosby said we need a mainstream outlet <clears throat> where we can control the media and the information that our people was getting through media. And they didn't want that. Mm, big facts. Big facts. That would have put, put a, that would have put a big hinder in what they had going on for all these years. That would have borderline and stopped it for real, for real. Yeah. So the somebody say MJ tried to buy Marvel. The reason <coughs> the reason he ended up not getting it is because he left Sony with over fifty percent of the company with controlling interest. Yeah. yeah, I heard about that. As a free agent. In the business world, they all said don't do business with Michael Jackson. And it was enforced by the JDL. The JDL L was the ones that was giving Mike the death threats the whole time. The mm. same ones that was giving Biggie death threats and Tupac. Right? If you go back to Biggie Life at the Death album, he got a phone call at the beginning of one of his songs. Uh-huh. And they said, I'm going to kill you. Motherfucker, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, and he's fact. like, yo, yo, you soft, dude. You soft. Big fact. He was he was reenacting the phone call he got from the Jewish Defense League. Okay, okay. Uh, in in uh, in Hollywood, they call them star whackers. Mm. Hey, so and, look, you think that they get like the, the underground to do it, like the mob or something, and then just pay them off, or you think they, that they do, get one of they their don't own? use they don't use one method. Okay, okay. See, they try to paint a picture where most, most of them look like suicide. Okay. Okay. Like David Carradine. David Carradine um, was, he had become a Buddhist monk and he was starting to be uncomfortable with the conditions of Hollywood that went against his moral fiber and he was about to start speaking up. So they had to silence him. Okay. Okay. His third eye was coming wide open anyway, being as to what he was into. Well, he had been, um, he, Bruce Lee put him on his path with the David Carradine Kung Fu movie. That was supposed to have been the Bruce Lee story. Bruce Lee wrote the original pilot for that. And they oh, my. stole it from him. They stole it from him, and they hired David Carradine because they didn't want no goops in the movie. Oh man! Okay, you just put me hip right there. Yeah. 
They've been doing this for a long time. Hollywood was created by the Scott, uh, 32 degree Scottish Rite Freemasonic Lodge. But if you don't know the history of Hollywood, you're not going to never know it. The first Hollywood parade is in black and white. They got a big double head eagle from the 32 degree Scottish Rite Freemason as the centerpiece. We overlook that because we don't know what the symbol means. Run it back. You say it's a double eagle head? Yeah. Okay. And is they under the um is they under which would uh the Jesuits or they they right different there different okay. order. They're a different okay. order. All these are different orders, um, but they all secret societies. Okay. But the Pope the Pope is the be all the end all until the Empress came. Okay. Because he every secret society tied themselves together at the Vatican, all roads lead to Rome. Is he a uh, is he a hybrid Draco, or he just regular? You know what I mean? He a regular pale face. But what they do is they gotta send him through a lifetime of training to be the Pope. Okay, okay. What they say about forty years, right? No, the average Pope is like sixty something. Okay. Okay. And so they that's probably that. how long they've been in the church forty years. Okay. okay. But they, okay. they they normally they norm ain't no popes young. They older than the presidents. Right. Right. Okay. Because they only want them to live on average of ten years. And I heard heard you say something about um you don't think the election going down this year like. I got my own little theory with that, but I want to hear, you know what I mean, from you, OG. Like, because it's eight this year, and I, you know, the, the finale be, the Xfinity be number nine. Don't nothing go past that. So I figure, like, something really going to set off next year, for real, for real. Or next it might year, be the complete ending of they, of they mess next year. Um, Trump already announced the national Mardi Gras that I was talking about. He called it the. Uh, 250 year um independent celebration and he already announced the world fair i was talking about when i on the, in the same speech and and he said that it's going to be in the, either iowa or idaho i forgot which state but he announced that's where they're going to be revealing a lot of technology okay that's been concealed from us so in order for us to be ready for that, certain stuff got to get done like immediately. Right, right. You know, so um, I'm just watching if everything moving like I think I'm seeing it, we shouldn't see no election this year. And the campaign trail proved that. You've never had this deep into a campaign without knowing who one of the candidates going to be. Mm. The Democrat Party is totally undecided. Big fact. Big fact, right? Right. And you never had a presidential campaign trail that didn't start with at least 10 on each side. Okay, okay. The Republicans started with one, and the Democrat is still at zero. That's a binary code number for let the chief speak. Okay. Mm. Hey, look, let me ask you this. Do you think any, um, what role do the, um, you know, like do the Holy Bible and stuff like that, what role do the scriptures play at a time like this? You think they play a significant role or... What's your opinion on that, OG? If you know how to read them, it's a star map. They tell you when the stars is in a certain alignment, what to look for on the ground. Okay. 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 Yeah, all right. Then, look, look I got to uh, – I appreciate you. Look, I, I will sit up here and ask you a bunch of more questions. I got to piss like a racehorse. Well, there ain't no problem, man. I gotta take, I gotta take a couple more calls before I end, anyway. You already know. I appreciate you, OG. Hey, sending out love to everybody, man. Peace to the God. Request in, and I didn't get you up. Can you resend them? Because Instagram decided to kick all my requests out.
So I don't know who waiting to come in.